You just brought up a point that opens a question for me. Do you think over the last year, we've seen a lot of um, acquisitions and mergers amongst some of these technology companies, some of them that were shocking, some of them that made sense. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you think that that plays a role into this evaluation too? I think I think a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the the entire M and A market and what's happening in roll ups and acquisitions, and certainly we saw big things with people we work with, and mm-hmm. uh, Ultimate and Kronos coming together, and then you see uh, the entire Cornerstone and Saba piece that's coming together. But then other technology companies, mm-hmm. and, and some um, there's honestly some learning tech companies that did really well in the pandemic. There's some that we thought were going to be leaders in the future that are now failing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're laying off loads of people and they're not going to be successful long term. Or they just may not be the technology or product that you need. Um, And so I think the M&A creates that. I think that a little bit. I think the pandemic has, you know, put you on notice about the vendors. Um, you know, we see companies like Skillsoft and some total, they got sold again. Mm-hmm. So what does that mean going into a new organization? Oh, they're being combined with another group mm-hmm. uh, in order to be able to go provide what they need. All of those things create some of that level of chaos that we were talking right. about earlier that says, do I need to reevaluate that?